The beach isn't what it used to be, they say. It's no longer just sand and surf, beach towels, buddies sipping cold ones under the sun. It's no longer just romantic long walks with your dog as the waves roll in. We've moved past just building sandcastles with your kids. The beach might be more dangerous than you think, more mysterious than you could ever imagine, and even more lit than you've ever seen. Are you ready to see what we mean? 15 Strangest Things Washed Up on Beaches Giant Lobster This lobster is one of the largest crustaceans on coral reefs and seagrass beds in the Caribbean Sea and is one of the most valuable fishery resources for every country throughout its range. Meet the Caribbean Spiny Lobster. These fishermen came across this monster lobster on the coast of the town of Muanobo in Puerto Rico. Is this thing for real? During the day, these creatures remain hidden in caves, under ledges, and in crevices on the reef surface. During the twilight hours and at night, individuals are much more active and forage along the reef for small snails and crabs, decaying organic matter and plants, and they'll eat most things that they find. This particular giant lobster looks like it could swallow a person. But the good news is, is that these spiny lobsters do not have enlarged front claws and are harmless to people. Like in all decapods, their shell really is a skeleton on the outside of its body. It does not expand and therefore the lobster must molt or shed it regularly in order to grow bigger. Can you imagine if these ocean creatures could get any larger? It took four grown men to haul this lobster out of the sea. It might be a good idea to throw this lobster back in the ocean. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. There's no way, under no circumstances, would we be getting as close to this sea beast as these curious tourists, alive or dead. But it makes us wonder if giant piranhas like this ever existed. And yes, they did. The bite force of a mega piranha, which lived 10 million years ago, was extrapolated from the first field measurements of the biting force of Earth's largest piranha today. One two and a half pound fish delivered a bite with a force of about 72 pounds, which is 30 times its body weight. The force is nearly three times greater than the bite force of an equivalent size American alligator. Based on a two and a half pound piranha, scientists calculate that mega piranha could have a bite force anywhere from 280 to 10 hundred. Mysterious Ega gropila Commonly known as Neptune grass or tapeweed, this seagrass is endemic to the Mediterranean Sea. It forms large underwater meadows that are an important part of the ecosystem. Its fruit is free-floating and known as the olive of the sea. The balls of fibrous material from its foliage, known as Ega gropila or Neptune balls, wash up to nearby shorelines. It's interesting because these balls and the grass they spring from has a very high carbon absorption capacity, being able to soak up 15 times more carbon dioxide every year than a similar sized piece of the Amazon rainforest. So is seagrass the key to clearing the oceans of plastic? Every year, an estimated 8 million tons of plastic is dumped into our oceans, threatening the lives of fish, seabirds, and marine mammals. Studies were carried out on beaches in this region where there are extensive meadows and high levels of plastic near the shore. These Neptune balls on the ocean floor sieve over 867 million pieces of plastic from the water every year. There was plastic debris among 50% of the 42 samples and intertwined in 17% of 198 fibers. These Neptune balls collect plastic as they form before carrying the rubbish to shore. Easter eggs. These small and colorful Easter egg-like capsules covered miles of the beach just off Germany following a storm. That's a lot of plastic. Police who arrived at the scene to photograph the arrivals said the surprise-filled eggs landed on the beach without the chocolate coating they're famous for. The eggs did, however, contain tiny toys in each one, much to the delight of local children. The unexpected bounty discovered on the beach on the North Sea Island meant an early Easter for children living there. It's believed the eggs were dumped from a container that was lost by a cargo ship en route for a German port. Apparently, the freighter carrying them lost a total of five containers during the storm. And as you can see, a local kindergarten full of eggs perts descended on the beach to collect the eggs before they became a hazard for area wildlife. What a score! It's a good thing they didn't wash up in the United States 
If they had, they might have been confiscated. These toy-filled eggs are banned from importation into the U.S. due to what officials call a choking and aspiration hazard for young children. Nonetheless, a black market for these chocolate-covered surprise eggs does exist in the U.S. These kids in Germany really lucked out. <laughs> Old War Bunker Warden Point Battery on the Sheppey Islands in England was a gun battery built between 1914 and 1916. In the Second World War, a temporary radar station known as Chain Home Low was installed in 1942. And as you can see, not much is left. Today, Warden Point Battery has long since gone because of the constant erosion on the cliff in this location. But some of the former Chain Home Low Station bunkers remain on the beach after sliding down the cliff in one piece with the cliff erosion. In use until 1936 and in World War II as a command post and searchlight battery, the site spent a considerable number of years after the Second War as a holiday camp. Following the closure of that, a housing estate was started. Unconfirmed information from the builders suggests that some of the historic features would remain protected so that they could be rediscovered if and when the newer buildings were demolished. However, building was suspended, and for good reason. A result of coastal erosion, this bunker might not have been washed in by the sea directly, but it's still a rather peculiar site on the Isle of Sheppey in Kent. Millions of Snails Millions of small, black, serith snails covered one area of Fort de Soto Beach, Florida, stunning wildlife lovers. The snails were in an area off the south end of the parking lot at Fort de Soto's North Beach, which borders the bird sanctuary. What makes this so odd is these kinds of snails don't typically wash up onto land. They're usually along the bottom of the ocean in flat reefs or hiding in coral reefs where the temperature is warm. Serrets are found worldwide on sandy bottoms, reef flats, or coral reef rock covered with sand and algae in the sublittoral zone of warm or temperate waters. Most are found in tropical areas. A few occur along the European coastline, and about 30 species are found along the American coast. A few species occur in mangrove forests close to the sea, and only a few are found in deep water. They're also popular in aquariums because of their ability to help keep the water clean. However, they really shouldn't be on this beach. The popular theory suggests that the low tide exposed the snails, and many are still at the beach. It's possible the snails came to the shallow waters because they found food, which was washed up by recent hurricanes, on the beach. <laughs> Air Force Drone It was not just another day at this Florida beach when the tide brought forth a 20-foot aerial target drone used by the U.S. Air Force. We're just going to assume that the military would prefer its drones not wash up on the beach. And although this particular drone is used to test weapon systems and train fighter pilots, clearly on this day, this test did not go as planned. And the people at Boynton Beach got to have front row seats to the air show. Although the drone is very cool, there wasn't a lot to see. It was quickly recovered by officials and never posed a threat to the public. Considering these types of drones are used worldwide in various militaries, occasionally they might end up in the ocean. Maybe this was a faulty drone, or maybe it was human error. Who knows? The military doesn't usually disclose that kind of information if they don't have to. The drone can achieve flight altitudes of 50,000 feet and was likely shot down in a military test operation. Our world relies so much on new technology like this, but even the best of intentions with drones results in some pretty unpredictable events. Perhaps events like this reveal the limitations of drone technology, and more so, humans. So when this Air Force drone washed up on the beach, heads were turning, people were talking, and the internet was buzzing. <laughs> Giant Alien Blob On March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake shook northeastern Japan, unleashing a savage tsunami. The effects of the great earthquake were felt around the world, from Norway's fjords to Antarctica's ice sheet, and tsunami debris continued to wash up on North American beaches years later. But as far as mysterious debris is concerned, nothing can fully explain this. As you can see, when the person kicks the unusual blob, it makes no noise and doesn't move an inch. Do we all know if it's on this planet? Perhaps it's an alien from the sea. Your guess is as good as ours. 
But when the earth around Japan was rocked as hard as it was during the earthquake, it's no surprise that some unrecognizable stuff ends up on the beach, right? Those areas of Japan closest to the earthquake's epicenter experienced the largest shifts. A 250-mile stretch of coastline dropped vertically by two feet, and one early estimate suggested that the Pacific Plate may have moved westward by up to 66 feet. On top of that, the quake shifted the seabed near the epicenter 79 feet and elevated the seabed as well. So we can all imagine what was happening beneath the waves. Whatever this giant blob is, it probably felt more at home in the deep sea. Rubber Ducks They were toys destined only to bob up and down in nothing bigger than a child's bath, but they floated halfway around the world. An armada of 29,000 plastic yellow ducks broke free from a cargo ship in 1992. George Bush Sr. was still the U.S. president when the toys were packed into a container and put on a ship for the U.S. Since then, they traveled thousands of miles, floating over the site where the Titanic sank, landing in Hawaii, and even spending years frozen in an Arctic ice pack. But after falling overboard, the seawater corroded the packaging, and the toys floated free. While the ducks are no doubt a loss to the bath time fun of thousands of people worldwide, the adventures at sea proved an invaluable resource to science. The toys helped researchers to chart the great ocean currents. They worked out that the ducks travel approximately 50% faster than the water in the current. When they're spotted bobbing on the waves, they're much more likely to be reported to the authorities. And because the rubber duckies are made of durable plastic and are sealed watertight, they've been able to survive years adrift. They circled the northern Pacific once before being washed up on the Alaskan shore, then all down the west coast of North America. <laughs> weird Green Eggs Surfers and early morning walkers were stunned to find thousands of weird eggs on an Australian beach recently. It looked like a scene from an alien planet on the sands of D.Y. Beach near Sydney. Hundreds of green sphere-like objects were scattered all over the sand, looking like a horde of aliens left their eggs on the shore. Locals who walked the beach every day said they had never seen such a sight before in their lives. Visitors from outer space or a natural phenomenon. Some beachgoers reported that the balls were spongy and felt like live algae of some kind, which is probably not far from the truth. Scientists explained they were a type of sponge-like seaweed that forms egg shapes possibly to protect themselves from predators. One hypothesis is that the spherical shape of the habitat allows the algae to easily roll back into the water before they dry up on the sand. The spheres of algae were most likely a kind of habitat where living algae form into balls rather than attaching themselves to rocks or other hard surfaces. The conditions of the sunshine and warm weather brought on by springing along with rough waves crashing on the beach created the perfect conditions to bring the balls ashore. Still, it's a rare occurrence and it's not known exactly why the algae form into balls. <laughs> Mystery Flashing Artifact This popular tourist destination welcomes a number of visitors to the area not only because of the beach but because of this. The strange object has captured the attention and imagination of the community. And now, the weird metal object washed up on a beach in North Carolina has left both residents and officials stumped. The enigmatic piece sports a solar-powered light, which amazingly still worked, extending from a pole near the center of the object. But yet, there is little about the object that indicates where it came from or what purpose it may have. It subsequently sat in the sand for the next six months or so, seemingly without anyone really paying much attention to it. But eventually, speculation about the nature of the object suggested that it's simply a mundane piece of equipment from a ship or perhaps a buoy. Others have offered a more fantastic suggestion, including that it's even from outer space. A few believe that it could be a glimpse of something much larger that's buried on the beach. A spokesperson for the National Park Service has concluded that they don't know what the object is, and neither the Navy nor the Army have taken ownership of the orphaned object. <laughs> Spooky Sand Dollars Sand dollars are amazing creatures that are, in fact, alive despite seeming like they don't move. But normally, when we see them, they aren't alive anymore after ending up on beaches. And recently, thousands of sand dollars mysteriously washed ashore in Oregon in a mass die-off event. 
Sand dollars are species of sea urchins that live on the sandy sea floor, typically close to shore, with more than 600 inhabiting one square yard. Beachgoers are likely familiar with the white exoskeleton of the dead sand dollar, but living sand dollars are covered with tiny gray or purple spines that make the animals look fuzzy. Once sand dollars wash ashore, they can survive only a few minutes. They were alive when they washed in during high tides and became stranded, but they're unable to make it back to the water once the tide recedes. So, when the circular sea creatures showed up in droves on Seaside Beach in northern Oregon, naturally people were concerned. At this time, we don't know what's caused this, and these types of incidents usually have several contributing factors, officials say. The reason for the mass die-off in Oregon is still unknown, but the phenomena may be related to currents unearthing the sand dollars and bringing them ashore. Human Hamster Wheel When this mysterious contraption washed up on the beach in Florida, authorities were confused. The crazy part of this story is the fact that the floating human hamster wheel was actually occupied by this guy, Ray Riza Bellucci. He's a big dreamer. For years now, the Florida ultra-marathon runner and inventor has been trying to combine his passions by getting into a floating hamster ball contraption and running across the water from his home state to New York. And as you can see, he didn't make it very far. But this man was actually on a journey. He set out in his homemade hydropod and planned to walk on water up the East Coast all the way to the Big Apple. Bellucci is quoted as telling the press that his trip north was meant to raise money for homeless people raise money for the Coast Guard, raise money for the police department, raise money for the fire department, and that he'll try again once the weather improves. But he hit a snag when his team alerted him that his tracking device wasn't working. So he came ashore to get another one, and that's when the commotion started. Now he since decided to change his plans. Instead of walking to New York, he's going to set off from Bermuda and go all the way to London and then on to Portugal. Ancient Forest It's an awe-inspiring sight and a very real reminder of the thousands of years of ancient history underneath our feet. But these seemingly standard stones are actually the remains of a petrified forest. Since the Bronze Age, this forest has existed on what's now a Welsh beach. Some say this could be part of a mythical kingdom. Wales own Atlantis, buried for approximately 3,000 years by a peat bog. The nature of this local peat was able to preserve the remains. In 2014, it was revealed in previously unseen detail after ferocious storms pummeled the Welsh coastline. And without the need for any storms, lucky photographers were able to capture the extent of this once an ancient woodland on the sands of Forth. At low tide, people on the coastline were able to see a number of the pine, alder, oak, and birch stumps emerging from the sand. It's a site that's always been integral to the area's identity. Stretching between two and three miles, samples taken from the submerged forest suggested the trees flourished between 5,000 and 4,500 years ago. In addition to the tree stumps, even before the storms uncovered much of the old forest, human and animal tracks preserved in hardened peat were already being discovered in the area. Mystery Blocks for the past few years, 100-year-old rubber-like blocks from Indonesia have been mysteriously washing up on beaches in the UK and Northern Europe. Created at a plantation in Indonesia more than a century ago, these curious rubber-like blocks with a word inscribed mysteriously washed up. The tablets were made from the sap of the gutta percha tree, a tropical tree native to Asia and Northern Australia. Other theories abound about the washed-up blocks. There's a growing body that believes the Titanic was the source of the rubber blocks found, but no one is sure if the blocks the story chip carried are the ones washing up on beaches in Europe and the United Kingdom. One can only imagine their value should be their definite evidence. Luckily, experts were called a vessel that carried blocks of the same type, the Miyazaki Maris. It sunk during World War I, and the ship was sunk on May 31, 1917 by a German submarine U-88 during a voyage from Yokohama to London. It was carrying cargo, part of which was the rubber block and passengers, eight of whom lost their lives, but the mystery blocks survived. Lego Man This giant figure was found washed up on a beach in Japan in 2012. 
Litter, driftwood, the odd message in a bottle, perhaps, but an eight-foot yellow Lego man? What the heck? Dressed in blue trousers and a red t-shirt, emblazoned with the cryptic message, no real than you are, on the front, and the name Ego Leonard was written on the back. And believe it or not, it wasn't the first time the Lego figure has washed up on exotic shores. The oversized plastic man turned up in the Netherlands in 2007, in England in 2008, and the appearance of a similar giant figure on Siesta Beach, Florida became number two on the time list of the top 10 oddball news stories of 2011. There's a Dutch artist who works under the pseudonym of Ego Leonard, and it's thought that whoever is behind his or her artworks has also been making the giant figures. The sculptures are in the form of minifigures, but are constructed from fiberglass. The Lego man has been spotted in areas currently hosting exhibits by the artist, so it's likely his appearance is part of a marketing stunt. However, a spokesperson for Lego denied that there was any connection to the giant minifigure. So, the next time you're heading on to the beach, make sure you pack your camera. You never know what you're going to find there if these videos are any indication. So, like and subscribe, share with your friends, and stay tuned for more great videos.